Okay, in order to take off this belt, we put our 3 8 ratchet inside this tensioner, turn it clockwise, and just slide our belt off. Okay, now we're gonna raise the vehicle and go check our uh, compressor pulley uh, from underneath. Okay. Okay, now as far as how we're gonna hold this in place while we twist off that bolt is uh, I'm just gonna get my screwdriver, get it in here, and then get my uh, ratchet with the 10 millimeter, hold the pulley with my left hand, and then twist this 10 millimeter bolt off. There we go. Yep, we got it loose. Okay, next we're gonna slide this off, but go slow because there's gonna be spacers between the clutch and the pulley. And actually, now that I think about it, we might have a problem with our spacers uh, either being worn or broken. That's why there's not enough uh, space between here. Well, actually, no, because this is broken. So, never mind. <laughs> you know, and you want to make sure you catch if anything falls out, okay? There's our pulley. There's a look at your clutch. And it looks like there's spacers in there, so... We'll get them out if we go to install a new clutch. And uh, yeah, we go from there, okay? Okay, next in order to take this pulley out, there's a snap ring here that I'll show you with my uh, with my mirror in a bit. And we'll need a pair of uh, snap ring pliers to get them out, okay? Alrighty, and here's a closer look at the snap ring that's in there. There we go. Here's our snap ring. Okay, now I believe we should be able to slide this off of here after we remove the snap ring, but this is on here really tight so actually gonna spray this with some uh, freeze off or PB blaster and let it sit for 10-15 uh, minutes then we're gonna come back and try it again you know what actually at first I'm gonna try some uh, brake clean see if I can clean this off and still this cannot budge this so what we're gonna do next is actually I know I usually advise against this but in this case we don't have much of a choice uh, we're gonna wedge this pry bar behind it and then we're gonna slightly pull on it and then we're gonna rotate, pull on it, rotate, pull on it. That way, you know, it's not binding and it's your uh, best chance of getting it to come out evenly. Okay? So let's start. Alrighty. Finally. <laughs> 